Finally tonight, we remember a woman who helped change the law and the lives of tens of millions of people with disabilities. Marka Bristow may not have been a household name, but her work seeped into many U.S. households. Paralyzed from the waist down after a diving accident when she was 23, Bristow became a longtime disability rights activist from her home base in Chicago. She worked on improving access and rights, no matter how small or how large the issue. Bristow fought against discrimination, helped create a better model for independent living, and led strikes and helped file lawsuits that led to the creation of bus lifts in Chicago. She was a pivotal voice in the shaping and passage of the 1990 Americans with Disabilities Act. Bristow died yesterday of cancer at the age of 66. Former U.S. Senator Tom Harkin of Iowa knew her well and worked with her when he helped to write the Americans with Disabilities Act. Senator Harkin, thank you so much for being here, and we're sorry for your loss. We know how close you were to Marka Bristow. You have worked for decades in the disabilities mm -hmm. movement. How did, how do you, how should we see Marka Bristow in that movement? I think she will be enshrined in the future as one of the great leaders of a global disability, civil rights movement for persons with disabilities. Uh, when you think of the civil rights movement for African Americans, you of course think of Malcolm X and, and, uh, and Martin Luther King Jr. and John Lewis. I think when people in the future look back at at the disability rights, civil rights movement. They'll think of, of course, Justin Dart and George H.W. Bush that signed the law, but they'll also think of Marka Bristow, who really made it happen. As, as I mentioned, you were pivotal in writing and putting together the Americans with Disabilities mm -hmm. Act. You worked on it. A lot of people were involved in that. It was the late 1980s into 1990 when President uh, George Bush, H.W. Yeah. Bush, signed it right. into law. What did Marka Bristow do that, that others weren't doing at that point? Just, she was Justin Dart's protege. Justin he, Dart, of course, was one of the... One, one of the leaders. real advocates of the yeah. Americans with Disabilities Act. He, in his wheelchair, went to all 50 states. But then he got a hold of this young woman from Chicago, Marka Bristow, uh, and sort of got her to move all over the country getting young people involved. Uh, young people who may have been born with a disability or like herself had been injured in an accident and she got them stimulated to think about themselves not in terms of of, 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 a, of, a, of someone that just had to take what was given to them but to start getting young people to demand better access to all forms of, of, of living in America. She was she was a foot soldier in that in that effort. I met her at an Access Living event in Chicago. That was the organization that she helped to found all around pushing for independent living for people with disabilities. What do you think drove her? What pushed her to do what she did? She wrote about this once and spoke about it often and I've often talked about it, the fact that after she had her diving accident uh, when she was 23 as you mentioned, she thought how am I going to cope? How do I have to change my life? Well, she ran into Judy Human, another advocate for disability rights, and a few other people, Ed Roberts, others I, uh, in that movement, who said, no, you don't have to change. They've got to change. <laughs> Society needs to change. They need to change the way they build buildings, the way they make doorways, the way they have bus lifts. You're still the same person. They've got to change how they're doing. And so that, that sort of got her thinking that, yes, Society has built in all these barriers to people with disabilities. If we break down the barriers, people with disabilities can do anything. She wouldn't accept the idea that, that uh, anything was closed to someone with a disability. Marka Bristow did not want to be paternalized. She did not want to have people patting her on the head and say, now you go off and we'll help you. She said, take the barriers down, I can help myself. She was tough. Oh, she was tough. She was very tough but had a heart of gold. She was just uh, one of the most unique persons I've, I've ever known in my lifetime. Well, she certainly left a mark on oh, the lives, as we said, of just, millions and millions of Americans. She was a mentor to so many young women. She was also a feminist. So she got young women with disabilities to think of themselves in a different light. She was just uh, a wonderful mentor to so many young people. 
Former Senator Tom Harkin, who worked with Marka Bristow, thank you for helping us remember her. Thanks for thank having you. me. Thank you.